Welcome to this OMI video tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to connect an HP Operations Agent to OMI so you can monitor availability and performance and remediate issues on a monitored server. There are three steps to connecting the agent. The first step is to install the agent either manually or using a software deployment tool such as HP Server Automation. If you want to create a clone image, such as for building servers for shipping or virtual machine templates, you can choose to install the agent in an inactive state. When the agent is activated, it sends a certificate request to OMI. You need to grant the request to enable secure HTTP communication between the agent and OMI. The final step is to verify that communications channel. This is the console of a Linux server that we want to monitor with OMI. Let's install the agent manually and activate it at the same time by specifying the name of the OMI gateway server or load balancer that it will connect to. When the agent is activated, it sends a certificate request to OMI. To manage certificates, go to Administration and click Certificate Requests This screen shows all your certificate requests and their state. You can also manually grant requests here. In our case, you can see that the certificate was automatically granted. This happened because we configured an IP address range to allow automatic certificate granting of requests based on the IP address of the managed node. If you want more flexibility, Create a Groovy script to automatically grant or deny certificate requests according to your own criteria, such as by hostname. After granting the certificate, you can verify that secure HTTP communication is working between the agent and OMI. On the agent, you can run BBC Util ping to check that it can contact OMI. Note the status is OK. On the OMI server, you can also run BBC Util ping to check communications in the reverse direction. Or you can run the OVRC command to query the agent, which also validates the communication channel and lists the agent processes along with their status. When the agent was activated, it not only sent a certificate request to OMI, it also sent basic topology to OMI's runtime service model. To see the topology, click IT Universe Management under RTSM Administration. Select a view that contains the hosts, such as hosts with IP operations agents. Right click the new Ganymede Unix CI and select Get Related CIs. Then click Show Related CIs to see all directly related CIs. The agent sent all this topology to OMI, not just the node CI, but also the IP addresses, MAC addresses, and the operations agent software. You are now ready to deploy monitoring and deeper topology discovery to the monitored node. To learn more about configuring the operations agent, see the agent installations topic in the OMI online help.